families were ripped apart and hearts broken, all in the name of segregation. Forced removals formed an integral part of the apartheid regime's pattern of oppression. District 6 is a former inner city residential area in Cape Town, South Africa. Over 60,000 of inhabitants were forcefully removed during the 1970s by the apartheid regime. This documentary aims to speak on the life and times of the displaced. I was born in District 6, 86 Aspling Street. I was not born at um, the South Peninsula Maternity Home, so I was like at home, I was born. I remember we left District 6 in 74, we had to move to Lavendale. It was sad. I just spoke recently and I said I remembered how we got on the truck and I wanted to be with my cousins because we were all close and I moved with them when they first moved and then when the next lot cousins moved I moved again with them and every time I came back until we were the one last family to move out of this big six. Moving into Lavendale there was no infrastructure, there were no roads, it was just white sand, there was no lavender although they called it Lavender Hill. And the name Lavendale is derived from the Lavender Hill that used to exist in District 6. There were two hills, one was Summer Hill and one was this, uh, Lavender Hill. So in Lavender Hill we got to know about the gangs, the mafias and the mongrels and the scorpions. And then at night time you would hear them swishing their sharp objects on the grounds and went to stay in house. So we heard a lot of terrible stories about how they gang fight in the area. And now some women would get raped in front of their husbands and children. But for the most part, my childhood was sad in Avenue because we just moved in and then my father passed away. And then my mother was already separated since in District 6. And I was born in District 6 in Kaapen. And I was born school in school in District 6. School of Industry in the Rolandstere, that was school of Gang. And from there, I think I'm my own man. I'm not in the singer, and not for us to lose our trust. I was in after my sicker, and so to school of Gang, my own man was by me. To steer my pa, and to come is well face me in the carpet. To come all the food to sell, and I can. I was born with my old man, and my old man was old, my old man can't be able to look at it. And then I told my old man to see my old man, and I was a little bit older, and I was a little bit older, and my old man was a little bit older, and I was a little bit older. And then I told my old man, and 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 I told my old man, Toch niet meer voor politie aan toch, maar hoe dat je, toen ik in de stad zit te blijven, dan kende bij de stad nog maar twee keer de stad tot ons gebleven. En toen mijn oma het pas laat was terap, daar was misschien, hoe kan ik zeggen, was misschien dat hij tijd die mijn oma het pas laat terap en de paten en de pad. A trap was now the the clear and good, and that was clear the trap. Then we thought it was was not too cold, but it was 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 now my mama for us, and and then in that was my mama had to um for us, she was living for us after here the the aliara to take in to to take class to see my mama for la my mama can't even for us la can't. Maar toen kon ik wel veel wat stringen uit. Toen kon ik mijn hoofd in het GGT-kaart. Wat hulle van mij en mijn twee, drie broers. Mijn mijn hoofd was nog naar die hoofd toe. Ik kan hier in de kaart zo. En daar was die wel veel gepraat met die magistraat. En daar heb ik gezien. Mijn oma is de oud en mijn oma kan niet voor zwarten. Maar mijn oma had gekomen in die kerk. En als er is het gekomen tot bij die hoofd. En in het gereen die dag. In my umat ka, in my umat vali fo uslat kani.
Riding District City was very, very pleasant. You say, you say you know, in the word box up if you want to, it was cosmopolitan. Everybody was everybody's friend or everybody's sister or brother. This is where I have made a friend that I've had now for over 50 years and still is the only friend I have. Okay. Trafiago Bart is the place where we had a place. We could play there for the whole day in Trafiago Bart. That was our joy. If we wanted to go to a beach, we had to go to Woodstock Beach, which is now the container basin. Many things that happened to us is that um, we had the joy of going just about anywhere we wanted. Nobody would harm us. When we wanted to buy a get pine kernel, we walk up to the wall drive, climb the pine pine trees. If there are no uh, pine cones lying on the ground, we will climb those trees and then go fit them as small as we were. And then we would come down and have our joy making a fire and gorging on these people. People in the news, um, New Millennium doesn't know that in Cape Town, and, but all over, people migrated to South Africa, they come to Cape Town to, that was before the apartheid, and they married colored ladies, some have colored girlfriends, but when the apartheid came in 1948, they separated families either if you got a color, if you're a causa or whatever nation you are, you have to go to your where they put the people were in the streets were living together as one. And now they separated the people. They send the people to Langa and Kuli to and even you if you haven't got a job, you must go to your homeland, to the homelands. And um, like my father. His, his, when his father died, his mother was still living and she, was, she went back to Rhodesia and he went back to, because his mother was sick and um, it, 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 it's only later years that you find out that the truth why he went away and what a part they did, they separated the families and till today there's still people that, that, and there was African people living with the coloreds. They didn't want to go away. Then they changed the surname to a colored surname. They qualified and called women, things like that. They changed their surnames so that they couldn't go away. When we heard we can come back, it was like a, a magic. But when we left, we cried. I sat on the station with my bag to move because they sent us anywhere. They didn't ask me where do you want to live. And we had to go where that government just sent us. But coming back, I didn't know I was going to get the place so quickly. We waited for a long, good long years, but I didn't know that I was going to sit in the six again. They said, put me in a place where they chose to put me, because we are mostly amongst Muslims now. Now it's as if the Mos I want to say things that are my heart. It's if the Muslims are taking over because we had open ears, we had churches here, but you must look where you can find the church because even the church we had open ears, we can't have it anymore. The government that serves us now doesn't want it. I thank the Lord. I'm happy to come back. It wasn't easy to come back. I cried when we left. I'm happy to come back just to be a blessing to my neighbor, whether they're Muslim or whether they're Africans. Various platforms have been set in memory of District 6. The mural in Caledon Street, 
the Homecoming Center and the District 6 Museum are only some of the resources to reminisce about the good old days. The mural um, on my left hand side um, is part of the um, we are wanting to preserve and also honor the memory of the vibrant, diverse community that has once lived in District 6. Um, ex District 6 um, resident and also ex Venetian um, Maternity Hospital staff and together um, Aisha Price, she spearheaded with a group of artists the whole um, project. We started last September and here we are today um, doing the touching up of the mural. Um, if I could just take you through the mural, it will tell you about the mural, actually tells you about um, events in District 6, about the people in District 6 and also about the places. Talking about the forced removals still saddens former residents today. District 6 still remains in the heart.